Продолжаем. ММА серия совместно с Лигой FCP представляет вам трехраундовый бой в легком весе. В синий угол клетки. Добро пожаловать, боец из Калининграда. Встречайте, Артем Патоляко. You watching MMA series 22 FCP. We're live tonight from Sovex, Kalingrad, Russia. Brought to you by the Football Sports Network and seen around the world on the Clash TV app. I'm Ian M16 Butlin, and we've had three very fast, exciting contests already this evening. Number four, Artem Podolaiko, who you see before you. Fighting in this lightweight contest, 155 pounds or 70.3 kilograms for the championship weight. He has a record of one win and no defeats. That was on MMA Series 14 back in September. That night he won with a rear naked choke, which the regular viewers will have heard me describe as the king of submissions. The rear naked choke is by far the highest percentage submission in both submission wrestling and mixed martial arts. He got that, that win in 1 minute 33 seconds of his debut. Artem Podolaiko in the blue corner. In the red corner, welcome to the fight of Moscow. Встречайте Adil Khaitarov! His opponent making his way down to the red corner for this lightweight contest. Odil Kaidarov set off the wrong way there down, but comes around and down the main alleyway. A nice venue here, and you can see, as we're still going through the issues from the COVID-19 pandemic, it's the still small crowds. But that, you can imagine, I've fought in these halls like this, and the atmosphere can be amazing in a hall like that. Now, with this situation we have here, you have that eerie silence. And again, I've fought in, um, in Japan, where the crowd is very different, and they clap between rounds, but they're quite silent. And it's a very different feeling for a fighter. And as I described it there, it's a bit of an eerie silence. So it's interesting to see how these fighters come through these difficulties, the difference in situation. The pressures of the fight. Knowing the fighting on a big stage she has seen around the world. And Odil Kaidarov will make his way down to the red corner. Представляю вам соперника. Выбираем бойца в синем углу. Ему 25 лет. Рост 168 сантиметров. Вес 69,6 килограмма. В его активе один бой, завершенный победой. Дамы и господа, он призер Северо-Западного федерального округа по панкратиону. Чемпион Калининградской области по кикбоксингу и смешанному боевому единоборству ММА и боевому самбо. Дамы и господа, из Калининграда встречайте Артем Потоляков. Его соперник в красном углу клетки. Бойцу 21 год, рост 173 сантиметра, вес 69,8 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд такой же, как и у оппонента. Один бой, одна победа. Он победитель Лиги Аврора, победитель и призер всероссийских соревнований по ММА и грэпплингу из Москвы. Фатан Атил Хайтаров! Рефери поединка Владислав Щеблыкин. MMA Series 22 FCP. This is a lightweight contest between Podolaiko in the blue and Kaidarov in the red. Two unbeaten young fighters at the start of their career here. 
Боец готов? Боец готов? Бой! Touch of gloves and we are ready to go. Kaidorov just rubs his feet there, maybe felt a little slip. Spinning hook kick start from Podolaiku. Way out of distance. But initially giving his opponent something to think about there. What is going to come in? It's got him backing off. Then he switches the attacks to the legs, looks for the takedown and gets it against the fence. Kaidorov trying to defend with the guillotine. Very difficult to get from there. The head's out and it's the switch. This is a better looking guillotine. Nice and tight. It's still an arm in guillotine. And he needs to get his elbows together. The head is out. Continuous pressure here now, though. Podolaiku again with a spinning attempt. Chases down, pushing its constant forwards pressure here from Podlaiku. Trying to take the initiative early on in this fight. Kaidorov links the hands, holds him tight, and maybe this is why he's tried to just drain a little bit of energy out of him and just slow down the pace a little to his own pace. Underhooks the arms, tries to pinch over the elbows there and back to around the back of the head. So he's controlling posture here, but at the moment he's not using the, he's not controlling posture from underneath here to try to work a submission or work his legs up. He's just in a closed guard there. There's no threat of a submission from underneath in that position. It is actually this pinch headlock position here from underneath is actually a good position to start to work your legs up and start to maybe get your hips out to the side and work submissions. But at the moment, he's just holding very straight on and holding the position. Maybe just as a stalling tactic and maybe because of the fast impact and the pressure that came out from Podolaiku early on, which was very intense. There we see. Will Podolaiku who start to push him back against the fence and use that fence now to ground and pound in that position. Working his hands into the inside position again. Again there, pushing on the neck. Splits the grip. He needs to, when he does that, he could use that then to fire the strikes down the middle. Again, getting tied up into the same pinch headlock position. Big body shots there with the right hand going in from Podolaiku. Here he looks to stand up and pass. He's nearly passed through, but there's still a knee in the middle. So he puts in the butterfly hook. Well defended there from Kudrayarov, who could do with using this now to try to sweep. Unfortunately, the way the, posi way the position has gone there, he's overhooking the leg. He's got the elevator, so he can't elevate him across towards the fence. So he needs to try to tie up. If he is going to sweep, he needs to sweep him back over his left-hand shoulder. At the moment, again, though, I think he's just working to hold, slow down the pace. As soon as the arm's free, he links his hands again. Forearm into the neck, Just trying to break that grip is Podolaiku, who must be getting frustrated, I think, in this position. As Kudarayov is really trying to just hold, stall the position. There's 45 seconds left in the round. Can he stay postured up? He needs to clear those hands from behind the head and just work his strikes in. In my opinion, when he's so close to the fence, turn the head round towards the fence, Try to posture and work some powerful strikes. And you can see there, Kaidorov talking to Podolaiku. The referee has seen enough of the stalling. I think he has a little word there with Kaidorov, and they start the action again, standing. 
That was again a combination of a spinning technique straight into a leg attack. And that is the end of round number one. There's only one winner on my card for that round, and that was Artem Podolaiku, who came out like a steam train driving forwards. Here you see him sat in the guard again, driving for the takedowns, constantly coming forward, working spinning techniques. If you're watching at home on the Clash TV app, please clap for your favorite fighters, score the fights, let me know your opinions, but I think the total strikes there speak for themselves. 32 thrown, 26 landed for Podolaiku. Kaidorov, one landed. So here, what do the corners say to someone like Kaidorov who's been so negative in that first round? He needs to come out assertive. He needs to try to change things around. He cannot have another round like that. Touch of gloves and respect there. And here we go, round number two. Podolaiku. Oh, it's a flying knee! A flying knee from nowhere. Well, I said he had to be assertive. That is about as assertive as you can get when you come out for the round. Lands the big flying knee there. Really took Podolaiku and myself by surprise. Can he make the most of this and not let him recover? Well, that will have turned things around a little bit as he drags him to the floor there. Top position. Needs to carry on working the strikes. That's what he's doing. Aggressive punches here now. Excellent shots. Big punches now going in. This is a real turnaround. A turn up for the books here. After such a negative first round for Kaidorov to come out so aggressive. Lands a flying knee, and then it's been non-stop assault since. We are only one minute into round number two here. Here we go. Podolaiku doing the right thing. He's turned around. He's trying to grab the single, trying to save this position. Can he pull that leg in? Can he put Kaidorov on his back? Take the momentum back for himself at the moment. He's eating elbows in that position. Goes back to the turtle. These are big, heavy shots. He needs to defend himself. The referee will be looking on very carefully. And that is no intelligent defense. That is how you come back from a bad first round. Fantastic turn up there. Now, I would love to know what the cornerman said to him between rounds because that is how you fire up a fighter to come back. Look how he's turned around the strikes there. He'd landed one shot in the first round. Now, 33 shots. Итак, дамы и господа, время остановки боя минуты и 39 секунд второго раунда. Техническим нокаутом добивание победу одержал Атил Хайтаров! Москва! И аплодисменты по соперникам из Калининграда Артему Подоляка. Адил Кайдров turns things around there for a very surprising win. We started off with a huge flying knee. A question from Ivan on the Clash TV app. What is involved in a flying knee as we watch this replay here? It was a, such a negative first round. Full forwards pressure from Podolaiku. Odil Kaidorov just defended, just took shots, but he came out with that flying knee. Really switched things around. A fantastic win there.